Use the method of least squares to determine the equation for the line of best fit for the data below. Okay, so we've got a lot of data here and big numbers. We're going to start with something simpler. We're going to find the line of best fit for these three data points. We have 0, 1, um, oops, we erased it. We have 0, 1 right here. We have 2, 1, and we have 3, 4. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to determine, hmm, what would be a good line of best fit? Would it look like this? And when we're drawing this line of best fit, we're thinking about minimizing the residuals here. How can we, oops, how can we make these as small as possible? Is that a good line of best fit? Or maybe it should look something more like this but then the residuals change a little bit. Hmm, is that a good line of best fit? So what we're trying to do is find the exact equation for this line of best fit. And instead of continuing to draw line after line after line and figure out which one is the best fit, we have an equation which looks something like this. So I know there's um, a lot on this page. First of all, what we're looking for is a linear line of best fit here. If it's a linear line, it's going to have the form y equals mx plus b. We're going to keep the y and the x there. There are two parts of this equation that we need to solve for. One is m and one is b. So in order to solve for m, or the slope, we have this long equation in which we're going to, um, we're going to take all of our x values that we have. So we have three x values. So x of i is just any x value that we have in our list. And then we're going to subtract this x with the bar over the top is the mean of the x values. We're going to do the same thing for the y values. Take each y value, subtract the mean of the y value, multiply those together, and we're going to find the sum of all of that. And then we're going to divide it by the sum. This um, e looking symbol means sum of the x, each of the x values minus the mean of x values squared and all summed up together. So that's how we find the slope or m. And then to find b, we're just going to um, just we're just going to solve for b basically by flipping this equation around. And instead of saying y equals mx plus b, we're saying b equals y minus mx. And for the um, x and y values, we're just going to plug in the um, mean y value and the mean x value. So that's all we're doing there. Okay, so let's break this down into steps. I've made a table here to make it a little bit easier for us to keep track of all of the parts of that equation. So first, we just want the x and y values. Let's go back here and let's find out each of our x and y values. I see my x values are 0, 2, and 3. So let me go write those down. 0, 2, 3. And then my y values are 1, 1, and 4 there. So let's go write those down. Important that they're paired with the corresponding x value there. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, be subtracting each x value minus the mean x value. In order to do that, we need to find the mean x value. So the mean x value, we're just going to find the mean by taking all the x values, 0 plus 2 plus 3, adding them together and dividing it by the number of values we have, which is 3. So this is going to be um, 5 divided by 3. Okay? So our mean, um, so we're going to know the mean x value is 5 thirds. Okay, let's keep track of that and let's do the same thing for y. For the mean y value, we have 1 plus 1 plus 4 divided by 3. That's going to be 6 divided by 3. That's going to be 2. Okay? So let's keep track of that, and let's write down over here the mean y value equals 2. Okay, let's get rid of this so we have some space here. So I have my mean x value, my mean y value. Now I'm going to take each of the x values, so 0 um, minus the mean x value, which is 5 thirds. So 0 minus 5 thirds 
is going to give me oops, 0 minus 5 thirds is just going to give me negative 5 thirds. Then I'm going to have my next x value 2, 2 minus, and then 5 thirds again. 2 minus 5 thirds is going to give me 1 third. So let's go ahead and mark that down here. 1 third. And then finally we have 3 minus 5 thirds. 3 minus 5 thirds is going to give me, let's see, 3 would be 9 thirds, so that's going to give me 4 thirds. So let me write that down here. 4 thirds. Okay. So I've got that column filled out. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to take each of our y values. So my first y value is 1 minus my mean y value is 2. So 1 minus 2 equals negative 1. So I'm going to mark in a negative 1 there. The next one is, again, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So same thing. And then the last one is 4 minus 2 equals 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right there. Okay, so that's that step. Next step is to multiply these, um, these two things together. So I'm going to do negative 5 thirds times negative 1 is going to give me positive 5 thirds. 1 third times negative 1 is going to give me negative 1 third. And then 4 thirds times 2 is going to give me 8 thirds. Okay. So that's that. And then one final step is we're going to take the x minus the mean of x, so that's this value here, and we're going to square it. So negative 5 thirds squared is going to be, well, negative 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9, so that's going to be 25 over 9. Okay? So let's go ahead and write that in here. Uh, let's see if we have another color to write in. 25 over 9. Okay, same thing with the next one. We have, this time we have, um, looks like 1 third squared. So 1 third squared is just going to be 1 ninth. So let's write that down. And then last we have 4 thirds squared. We're getting that from right here. 4 thirds squared, so we're going to have 16 over 9. So let's write that down. 16 over 9. Okay. So now let's erase all of our work down here. We've got everything we need. Now let's go back to our formula. Okay, my formula says I need, um, so I need to take the sum of that's this column where I multiplied the x minus the x mean times the y minus the y mean for each. I need to take the sum of this column. I need to add all of those together. That's what this part is. Okay? So I need to take the sum of that. Let's go ahead and do that. 5 thirds minus 1 third. That's going to be 4 thirds plus 8 thirds gives me 12 thirds, and we can simplify 12 thirds to be just 4. So the sum of this will be 4. That's our sum. Okay. Now, let us go back here, and we see we need to also take this, again, this symbol means sum, so we need to take the sum of the column where we're doing x minus x mean squared, which is this column right here, where we did the x minus x mean squared. We need to take the sum of this. So I get 25 plus 1 is 26 plus 16 is 42 ninths. So 42 ninths. Okay. So now we have 
Alright, n equals um, all of this divided by all of that. So that's just m m equals again this part on the top so that's this number here 4 over 42 ninths okay and then if we divide that it's going to be 4 divided by 42 ninths um, that's going to be the same as multiplying 4 times 9 over 42 so that will be 36 over 42 Okay, again that's the same, we can, if we're dividing by fraction here, that's the same as doing 4 times 9 over 42, and 4 times 9 is 36, so that's 36 over 42, so let's write that down here, 36 over 42. And actually, let's go ahead and simplify that a little more, I see that both of these will divide by 6, so 6 divided by 6, or 36 divided by 6 is 6, so I get 6 here, and then 42 divided by 6 is 7, so I get 6 sevenths. So I know m equals 6 sevenths. So, so far, I have, for my line of best fit here, I have y equals, and again, that was 6 sevenths, x, the 6 sevenths, that's our slope, y equals mx, plus, and now I need to find b, and again, how we find b is just doing, is plugging in the mean values for x and y, um, and solving this equation, so b equals y minus mx, so let's go ahead and solve for that, let me grab some space here, B equals the mean y value minus m times the mean x value, and then we can plug those numbers in, so the mean y value, we got, um, the mean y value we got was 2 back then when we added 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6 divided by 3, so we got 2. And then the mean x value that we had got was 0 plus 2 plus 3 is 5 divided by 3, so 5 thirds. And then we can plug in our m value that we have, and m we said was 6 sevenths. Oops. 6 sevenths. Okay? So then we just need to subtract this, and we'll find that b equals 2 times, and we're going to multiply the 6 sevenths times 5 thirds, and if we multiply those, we see we should get 30 over 21, so that's going to be equal to 2 minus... 6 times 5 is 30 over 21, which is going to be equal to, if we want to um, change those to like, um, like fractions here, 2 would be 40, oops, pages keep flipping here, 2 would be 42 over 21 minus 30 over 21, is going to give us 12 over 21. So b equals 12 over 21. So let's go ahead and plug that in here. 12 over 21. So this is our line of best fit. y equals 6 sevenths x plus 12 over 21. That is the line of best fit that we found by using this formula here for m and the formula for b. Now we can do that same thing on this problem um, 
to find the line of best fit for this height and weight data. We'll take a little bit more time because we have more numbers, but it will be the same exact formula.